York falling 9-8 to eight in overtime against St. Lawrence. Christian Taylor, head coach Brandon Childs after this one. Uh, coach, just take us through how that game concluded here today. Well, it ended a lot like it started with a failed clear for us, um, and uh, we failed cleared it too much. Um, and so it was pretty fitting that it ended that way. Um, and uh, March, like we're at, you know, midway midway point, so to speak, of the season, and you learn a lot about your team coming down here. And we clearly learned in that game that you know it doesn't matter how good a six on six defense you play if you're going to give the ball back to them. And at the end of the day. Um, they're great in the goal. Uh, they're great facing off. And if they're going to be good in those two spots, then you got to clear it well. And we didn't. And that falls on our coaching staff and me, obviously, not having our guys prepared well enough to, to, to clear it well. So that's kind of what happened at the end of the game. I thought we got a lot of six and six stops, and I felt confident. We got a six and six stop in overtime, just as we were doing kind of down the, the stretch there. Um, but they got one in transition off a of field clear. And you know, there's not a lot you can do to prep for that, the, the back end of the field clear. A bright spark today was Colton Mahorny. I mean, he's now coming in the last game against Salisbury, three goals, three important goals today. How excited are you about him? Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, we, <laughs> interestingly enough, we have a roster that covers, I don't know, 15 or 16 different states, and he's from right, right in York in our backyard, which is super cool. Um, he's a hard worker. Um, he's been working really hard, um, and he's one of those guys that um, every day in practice um, – he, he gives us his very best, and, but he's a very self-aware kid. And so in moments in practice where he wasn't his best, it was never, it was never when am I going to get my shot. It was just this awesome self-awareness. And he always knew that when he would get a shot, he'd be prepared. And last week he did and did well and obviously stepped back up. So I, I couldn't be happier for him, be, not necessarily because of what he did in the last two games, but that is the fruit of what he has been doing along the way. How's this team recover now 24 hours from now? Yeah, um, well, the first thing, I mean, that's our third loss by one goal to a top 10 team. We lost to uh, uh, RPI by a goal, RIT by a goal, and now St. Lawrence by a goal. Um, and the first thing I told our guys is there really isn't another, like, this sounds like coach talk, but every other coach who's listening to this will understand what I mean. Like, there are some teams where if your record's two and four and you lost three goals by one game, you look around and you're like, I don't know if this is the group to get over this. As soon as the ball hit that goal in that game, my first thought was this is the group I want to be with. And I really mean that. We're young, but we're um, – they just show up every day and they're giving us their very, very best. And so to your answer your question, um, the preparation is not at all my concern. I think our guys will be great in the next 24 hours. We – prepared for Dickinson already um, and so that's not the part that I'm worried about the part that I'm worried about is how are we going to make enough plays to win a one goal game instead of being up on the other side of it well, we're looking forward to tomorrow thank you very much coach yeah, thank you appreciate it that's coach Charles I'm Christian Taylor and go mustangsports.com